When I go to my favourite hamburger emporium McDougal's, I always make sure I order my favourite big stack. Yep, this is what we in the trade call a bit blatant. <laughs> Welcome to Snacksters Big Stack. Serving suggestion for best before end seaside of pack. And that's it. Yep, this is very similar branding to a certain fast food chain. That's right, Taco Bell. No, I mean, th this could not more obviously be an attempt to replicate a Big Mac for the home microwave market. I, I feel this may not end well, but we shall see. Yeah, so Snacksters. Um, I remember Quicksters is one we've done before, and Rustlers, of course, is the big name in home burger microwave joy. And I use the term joy relatively loosely. I mean, I've had a lot worse, and equally, I've had a lot better. But burgers, not something that really do that well in a microwave in general. So I'm going to be very intrigued to see how this goes along. Best before is a guideline only. Hey, so you could eat it 20 years after the... No, don't do that. Keep frozen at minus 18. Do not refreeze after defrosting. Oh, yeah, important stuff there. If you don't like being horribly, horribly food poisoned, do not refreeze after defrosting. So, and that's just general things. Not just this. Best before end, April 22. Yep, we could have it in the freezer for a year. But no, frankly, I needed the space in the freezer. I'd actually planned a completely different video for today, by the way, but I saw this in the supermarket and was like, oh my god and then I need the space in the freezer. So this came round to pass very quickly. Okay. I mean, it seems to have all the all the hallmarks of a Big Mac there. You've got three bits of bun. You've got two small burgers. You've got a bit of lettuce. Lettuce worries me. Frozen lettuce. In the, And what's the sauce going to be like? I'm just trying to not think about the lettuce, frankly. How, how are they going to do lettuce freezing and then heat? Surely you can't do the lettuce in the microwave. Well, we're about to find out. A double-sliced white bread bun containing two cooked seasoned beef and chicken burgers. There is chicken in this, for, for reasons. And a slice of processed cheese served with a sachet of burger sauce. Why, is it, why isn't it just beef? Why? What? what? 49% beef, 37% chicken. This is really smacking of, um, yeah, reclaimed meat. It's going to be all your legs, all your anuses, all your eyelids. Now I've got no idea, but, hmm, yeah, okay, we'll, uh, We'll deal with that when we come to it. Right, cooking instructions. All cooking appliances vary in performance. True enough, these are guidelines only. Check the product is piping hot throughout. I love that. That is a phrase you only see on uh, cooking instructions. Piping hot. As hot as a pipe. Which pipe? We don't know. Always cook from frozen. Yep, for best results, a microwave. Put sauce in a warm... No, put sauce in a cup of warm water to defrost. Okay, fair enough. Set cheese slice and burger bun to one side. Oh, it's going to say toast the bun, isn't it? Oh, they get bonus points for that. Place burgers stacked on top of each other in the centre of a microwavable plate. That's a microwavable plate. Uh, and microwave for two minutes, flipping burgers over halfway through. So you could have said microwave them for one minute, then flip them halfway through. That would have been clearer, wouldn't it? Toast the bun on defrost while the burgers cook. I don't know if my toaster has a defrost setting, but um, we'll deal with it. Assemble the product into a burger, including the cheese slice and microwave for one minute. Garnish with sauce and enjoy. Is there any lettuce in here? Sesame wheat, sesame seeds, <laughs> cooked burgers. Yeah, of course they're already cooked. Hmm, well, we'll open it up and we'll have a look in a minute. Alternatively, oh, now we're talking. Put sauce in a cup of warm water to defrost, that's the same. Set cheese slice of burger bun to one side, that's the same. Place burgers stacked on top of each other on the centre of a microwavable plate and microwave for two minutes, flipping burgers over halfway through. What? Assemble the print burger. Isn't that the same? What's different? So, so place burgers stacked on top of each other on the centre of a microwavable plate for two minutes, flipping burgers over halfway through. Toast. Uh, assemble the product into a burger and choose the microwave for one. Ah, right, I'm. I see. I think my brain removed the part where it's implying you should microwave the bun, because that is a thing of evil. 
evil. Do not microwave the buns. Always stick them in the toaster. That will improve your burger microwave experience massively. Warning instructions. Although every care is taken to remove all bones, slep may remain. Well, marvellous. Please ensure extra care is taken when handling and eating contents will be hot. Yeah, piping hot. Oh, hang on. Serving suggestion. I'm betting there's not going to be any lettuce in there. Because how, how would they do that? How would that survive? Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Well, that's that's certainly a set of stuff. We have three bits of bun. We have uh, two bits of meat. We have a slice of cheese. And presumably there's a sachet of something in there as well. Well, let's assemble it. Da, 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 da. That was fun. Right. Well, the burgers look about the same size as from a Big Mac, I suppose. I'm entirely impressed by the sort of burnt bit on the top there, but... Oh, oh hang on, you can't see that, sorry. Look, it has done a burning. Um, burger sauce, is that going to be anything like Big Mac sauce? One way to find out. And cheese slice. And here we are. The bun. Which, there we are. The triple bun. That's going to be a nightmare to toast, isn't it? I'm going to have to do defrost two bits of it and then do the other bit afterwards. Oh, well. Well, there we go. The proof of the big stack is in the eating. I'm going to go off and make the microwave and most of the kitchen smell like weird burgers. Back in a minute. And while that's happening, a quick hooray to commemorate the fact that our film Ashens and the Polybius Heist was released on digital six months ago today. If you'd like to have a watch, and why not? It's 100% on Rotten Tomatoes and everything. Just follow this link and I'll stick one in the description below as well. Before we show the beauty of the finished article, um, I just want to go through these instructions again, right? Because I totally misinterpreted before, because I went through them with a fine-tooth comb before actually making it, obviously. Basically, toast the buns and then stick it in the microwave for a minute. Hmm, I think I did say that, but it just didn't click in my head that you would toast them and then microwave them, which I have never done before, but, you know, we have tried this time, obviously. Also, the only difference between this entire set of bloody instructions is that one says microwave for one minute, that one says microwave for one minute thirty. Did we really need all the instructions again? I think so, because I'm chemically addicted to instructions. Right, wait for it. Bam, 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 bam. That was the burger song. So, um, hmm, uh, I did indeed do a toasting on. Turns out my toaster does have defrost. Still had to keep an eye on it because it nearly burnt it. Typical. Um, I put the sauce in layer two and the cheese in layer one. This is still very hot actually, it's been out several minutes, but there we are. Um, yeah, I mean it It looks more like some sort of breakfast muffin-y thing than a Big Mac really. I do wish I had had some lettuce in the fridge for the full compliment, but tragically I did not, because frankly I'd never really eat it on anything, so what would be the point? I'd just buy it and then it'd go off and that, my friends, would be a waste of food. <sighs> right, I'm gonna give it a bite and see just how close to the magic... Oh god, the bomb has gone soggy! Why microwave it? Oh, I think it's doing it to sort of melt the cheese and stuff, but... Oh, don't, don't microwave your burger buns, guys! Oh, even though we toasted it, it's not great. Right, I'll see you on the other side. Hmm. Okay. Getting a hint of the sauce. A hint of the cheese. The flavours are coming together, right? The cheese is exactly as you'd expect, and frankly very similar to what you would get at McDonald's. The sauce, I only got a brief hit of it, then kind of disappeared. And the meat... The, yeah, the meat is... I think I would have noticed it wasn't all beef, put it that way. Um, texture's different, and it's just really salty. It's just like massively salty and I can't really taste a whole lot else. There's a line for everyone to take out of context. I'm going to try a little bit of the sauce on its own. Hang on. Oh, hot. Oh! Sauce is vinegary. It's not far off a Big Mac sauce. I think you would need a lot more of it though, because Big Macs are a very sort of moist thing, aren't they? They're a big, a big sort of sauce containment unit made of bread and meat. There's painting pictures with words for you. Right, I'm going to have another bite and then wonder what actually happened in my life to bring me to this point. Oh. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm getting... I'm going to get told off for chewing with the mouth, uh, speaking with the mouthful. Chewing with the mouthful, that's quite important. Um, mm, more of the sauce in that one. But it's still incredibly salty. It almost tastes more like some sort of preserved meat or something. There's so much salt in it. Probably due to the low quality of the meat, I would have said. Due to the fact it's, you know, a bit of beef and a bit of chicken. And I imagine... Uh, mechanically reclaimed at some stage, but there we are. It's not awful. I've had a lot worse, to say the least. Um, in fact, I would say it's one of the better microwave burgers I have had. Ooh, it is let down by the meat. Frankly, the bun is fine. If you hand stuck in the microwave, it'd probably be better. Um, the cheese is fine. The sauce works. Do a little bit more of it, maybe. It's the yeah. If it wasn't. Swap that meat for some actual beef, or, you know, 100% beef, or near as damn it, and, yeah, put a bit less salt in it, you would probably have a winner there. But as it is, it's all right. I mean, let's be honest, if you're buying a microwave burger, you're pretty much expecting what you're going to get anyway, you know? We go into this thing with our eyes open, and it's fine. Um, I'm not sure I would recommend it as a particularly um, cost-effective snack. There's much nicer things you can buy cheaper and obviously make yourself. That's all fairly obvious, isn't it? But as it lives, it's absolutely not a replacement for a Big Mac in any way, shape or form, obviously. It'd be a little bit close if the meat was better, but as it is, yeah. It's a big stack and not a Big Mac. So the box was right on that. But I'm still, I mean, I was gonna complain about it not looking anything like the picture, but then again, that's a fast food thing in general. You get that in bloody McDonald's, don't you? Hang on, can we, uh... oh, look at that. <laughs> ah, reality hits. Well, there we go. How they actually get away with using a sort of design that is very clearly inspired by McDonald's ones and then having an identical looking burger and then just replacing the word Mac with stack. I don't know, but they seem to have got away with it. So hats off to them. Clearly, copyright in the convenience food world is not anywhere nearly as harshly enforced as it is in the YouTube world. Subscribe for more.